Hi, people, dear all. Uh, my name is Eric Scherber. I'm a professor in clinical neuropsychology at the Vrije Universiteit, the Free University here in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Um, when you are looking at uh, literature on children, um, children that are maltreated, uh, children that um, grow up with the, from the very onset of their lives uh, in an impoverished environment uh, with a lack of uh, empathy, uh, having no parents or having no friends, no peers. When you're looking at that studies, uh, those studies, sorry, uh, when you're looking at those studies, then you see what a huge effect it has on the neural development of the brains of those young children. And the impact is indeed very impressive. Uh, think of, I just take the brain, I have the brain here. Uh, I just give you one example, which I always think is a very good example. So you are looking here at the inner side of the brain. This is your prefrontal cortex here. This is the corpus callosum. So this uh, is the structure that will connect the left and the right hemisphere. Uh, and there is a pathway coming here from the, let's say, ventromedial prefrontal, the inner side of the prefrontal cortex, going to structures like the amygdala. And the amygdala is very important. It's very known for its high sensitivity for anxiety and grief, sadness. Normally, this part of the brain will inhibit, will suppress the activity of the amygdala. So that normally in normal situations, you will have a control of your areas that are so sensitive for anxiety, etc. So you have a control of your more negative emotions. So this pathway here, this is a white matter tract, a tract, this is white matter. Uh, literature clearly indicates that this, this, these structures here, these pathways are quite vulnerable in those children who have been maltreated, who have been misused or uh, have a lack of love and empathy in in their early ages in their in their onset of their lives so my contribution would be or my my yeah well i my contribution would be to um, let's say to discuss with you or bring into the discussion how could we at a local level as simply as possible see if we can do something about the restoration the repair or let's say the better functioning of those so crucial pathways that are crucial for their own development of empathy, um, having the feelings of how another p child is feeling, you know, something that is crucial for the rest of your life. And there are not that many studies that, um, let, let's say, that will fully support those ideas, but you can at a local level, a very simple level, uh, think of what you can do. And I think that when you are just approaching those children with warmth, uh, with warmth, with empathy, the fact that be, the children are feeling again, oh wow, they care for me, they are taking care of me, that you then at that in that instance, and that when you are successful there, then you appeal to this type of pathways and you give new input, you activate those systems in the hope that they will improve those connections for themselves. So you can do it only, no, you, the pure fact that you can approach those children with form and empathy locally, saying those to children and have given them the feelings that you care is extremely important. Uh, another thing you can think of is music. Music has been quite thoroughly uh, studied, not specifically in this population, because when you're looking, let's say, a little bit more globally of the effect of music on this specific pathways or on other pathways that are connecting the parietal lobe with the frontal lobe, pathways that are also involved in empathy, in, in the fact that you can develop your personality, then you see that, for instance, singing together. I, I understand that this is very sounds very, very simple, but, you know, there, at that specific location, somewhere in the world, in an, in an area full of terror, etc. But if the children can sing together, or people are singing with the children, then you also appeal to those structures. So, 
I can give you much more examples how you can do it at a local level, indeed in a very simple way, uh, but still, if you are successful, you will appeal exactly to those structures and those pathways, neuronal systems, that are so crucial for the further development of their brain, so also for their further development in life. So my suggestion would be, could we think of simple programs that could be executed immediately uh, without, let's say, having first a lot of need to have a lot of money or grants that you uh, we first need that money. No, you can do it only the, the, if there are people there who are prepared to pick up those ideas and make a, let's say, more continuous program with empathy, with warmth, with singing or playing an instrument, if it is available, it's, it would wouldn't be, be wonderful. Listening to music, playing outside, playing together, wonderful. So that would be my contribution from a perspective of brain development and the fact that those children already are, let's say, uh, uh, not uh, at that level that they should be uh, in a normal uh, when they had a they had the chance to have a normal development. Okay, so um, good luck with everybody. I would like to um, contribute again and again if you think that would be an idea to further develop. Um, so good luck and uh, see you later. Bye bye.